Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to increase your internet speed, both download and upload speeds, and make it more reliable with one simple app. Stay tuned. Before we get started, there's a quick little disclaimer here. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I actually came across this app in the Google Play Store just a few days ago. I've been testing it out. Uh, this app and software is available both on cell phones for iOS and Android, and also for your laptops or computers at home via Windows, Mac, or Linux. So what this app does is it takes two internet connections and combines them into one, and it's really easy to configure and use. Just a few things to set up ahead of time, and it's really easy and, and awesome, actually. I've been getting some good results with it, but keep in mind, this is a free version. They allow up to 10 gigabytes of optimized data per month. Uh, and then, of course, if you want more than that, you have to pay for the services, but there's individual, family, and also team plans for businesses. So again, two internet sources, most of us have that. Uh, home internet is one of those, and then your cell connection is one as well. So it can both of those into one internet connection and uh, here we go so we'll go to the Google Play Store for my phone and you're gonna search for the app it's called Speedify so here we go we go to the Google Play Store and type in Speedify S P E E D I F Y and then install it onto your phone again if you're using your computer it's available for both Windows Mac and Linux Want to click on open come to the first screen here there'll be some privacy things to agree to here once you click on that it will give you an idea of what the app and what the software is all about again you can combine connections using wi-fi and your cell data connection into one and it gives you optimal performance for all kinds of internet use than whether you're streaming or gaming video conferencing browsing mail or just have a congested home network and then here with the individual plan you can actually use this for up to five devices which is pretty nice and again there's your 10 gigabytes of optimized internet for free with this version no account needed even better all right so keep in mind if you have uh, data caps on your cell connection or home internet be aware of that and enter that information into here uh, that way you can track and don't go over your data otherwise you'll be charged extra fees and that's not good whatsoever i have t-mobile here i actually have an unlimited plan so i'll click on no i have unlimited data but for you you may choose the other option now what's nice is you can track all of your stats pretty easily here and then also also notifications too if you go over your limits all right, so the first connection I'm setting up is my cell connection into the app. As it says here, I'm connected. What do I do next? Uh, leave the Speedify app running. It works quietly in the background all by itself to optimize your internet. All right, under settings, here's a bunch of settings to look through, uh, but it's all pretty basic and easy to understand. We'll go through it with you. So you see here, the priority connection is my cell connection. Uh, so your two connections, one will be priority or primary, and the second will be uh, secondary. Uh, now that my cell connection is the better connection I actually have, it's much better than my home internet connection. I have horrible home internet connection here, so but for you, it may be a little bit different. So I'm gonna be setting up my cell connection here as the primary connection, and click continue. And there we go, now it's primary. We'll click back and we'll toggle on Wi-Fi so we can also integrate the Wi-Fi home connection now too. That pops up automatically. We'll set this priority then to secondary. And again, for you, it may be reversed. Now you can set up data caps for either connection or for both connections. Again, this will help you kind of keep track of any kind of data cap limits you may have for your connections and carriers. This is a really cool little feature here, over limit behavior. Uh, pretty much when you hit that data cap, if you choose to set that, um, when you hit that data cap, if you do, uh, your connection will stop being used immediately. 
or you can also toggle on here to throttle it to a lower speed. This would be at 200 kbps, kilobytes per second. Click done. And we have our two connections set up. So we see our T-Mobile primary connection there and the home Wi-Fi is our secondary connection. But again, for you, it may be different depending upon the circumstances. I'm gonna click on settings. Go over some of the settings here with you. The statistics is pretty nice. It shows you today's stats uh, this month and also all time. So you can see how the speeds are, both upload and download, and also data encrypted and also some stability statistics below that. Now we're going to click on bonding and this is the most important feature of Speedify. And there's three main settings here. And this is how it uses those two connections to optimize your internet for your use. Uh, so it recommends streaming. Now since so the bonding mode determines how Speedify will manage your internet connections. Streaming is this. Speedify maximizes the speed and reliability of your streaming traffic. So video calls, audio calls, live streaming. It makes those a priority and it will hopefully end all of the buffering you've been having going on your internet connection. Uh, there's also speed in speed mode. Uh, Speedify intelligently distributes your web traffic amongst all available internet connections in order to deliver optimal speed and performance. It's also redundant as well. I'm gonna click on speed here for myself because I wanna have the better speed uh, for my internet here at home. But again, choose what's right for you and you can kind of test all the options if you'd like during your testing phase when using the app. Other options here, you have multicast support. This enables apps to listen for multicast discovery announcements from devices on your network. Pretty simple. It's also an internet kill switch. Uh, so when enabled, uh, all internet traffic gets disabled if Speedify is disconnected. We'll go to the themes really quickly here. You can choose either light or dark mode. It's kind of cool. Whatever your preference is. I prefer light mode. And that's pretty much it. There's also guides here and help. So you can also do that if you need more questions answered. But now we're pretty much set up here. And we're gonna do some speed tests as well to show you how this optimizes the internet for our speed that we chose. So you can see here, the two connections. That's gonna give a speed test of the Wi-Fi first, then the T-Mobile connection, the cell connection, and then the combined speeds that we have now from those two connections can be combined into one. Let it run its course. Now I was having some Wi-Fi issues here at home due to the weather. So we have like a 20 year old DSL line here, which has been dropping off and the speed is really horrible. You only get like maybe three megabits upload and not even one upload speed. It's really, really bad. So we actually have to reconnect our Wi-Fi here to do the test as it dropped on us here during the video. There we go, it's online connected. There we go, we'll click on test speed and it has a little bit of a graph on the bottom too, showing you those tests going on. So the Wi-Fi at home is being tested right now. So yeah, we're getting about 2.5 or so, up to three. So let's hop out at about, let's see here, 2.9 megabits a second. On the upload, again, not even one megabits per second. We're looking at um, about 700 kilobits a second, 712. T-Mobile here going for the download speed, getting close to, I think, 19 or 20. So we're looking to see what our combined speeds will be with Speedify. So we have 14.8 there, it's not too bad. And the upload speed for T-Mobile cell connection, it's gonna be around 10. It's gonna come down to the wire here, let's see, it's almost done. Here we go, 13.8 actually. All right, so now it is doing some more tests looking for that combined speed with Speedify. All right, the combined download speed here is now 17.6. So that's not bad at all. We actually got a few megabits per second better for download speed. And upload speed is negligible just due to the fact that the home internet connection here is really bad. So you can scroll through the bottom here and see other stats too and how it's broken down into your connections and also the latency and packet loss. We'll reconnect to our Wi-Fi here as it dropped out again on me. And this is why I wanted to look into this app myself to see if we get more of a reliable connection here using these two connections. But for you, you'll probably get better results actually. Most people have a pretty solid home internet connection. 
and an okay cell phone connection. So imagine those two speeds being combined. You're gonna almost double your speeds in some cases or more. So you see here, we can actually transform and change out uh, our primary and secondary connections again. So now we swapped over the Wi-Fi to be the primary and cell to be the secondary. We'll do one more test for you all here. The Wi-Fi connection going first. And again, it's about 2.8 or so. So that's pretty much standard upload speed here. Again, it's going to be pretty, pretty low. And now the T-Mobile connection test. So when you configure Speedify for your two connections at home and your cell connection, uh, go through these speed tests here and see what kind of combo um, internet speeds you get. Um, that will probably make or break whether you want to keep the app and maybe even pay for the services. All right, and our combined test here then for our second test, after we transferred our Wi-Fi to primary, our cell to secondary, we're going to combine download speed now of 23.3. And again, the combined upload speed is kind of negligible here. We got 17.7. It added a little bit there with the Wi-Fi, combining with the cell phone upload speed. So again, this is Wi-Fi. It was too slow to increase combined upload speed performance. But again, for you, it may be a little bit different due to the fact you probably have a bit better internet connection than I do at home. All right, so you can also choose servers here. Um, you usually click on the fastest server recommended when you're doing your tests and you can easily click on the off button there where it says speedify tap that and it, everything turns off so you're not using the app anymore all right so it's important your mileage may differ to your combined upload and download speeds and the way it's optimized it all depends upon uh, again your two internet connections mine's really poor here on the home side my cell phone connection really beats out the home wi-fi but even when those two are combined with something that's poor and something that's pretty good we do get better speeds out of everything too so you may get better results uh if you do post your results in the comments below uh go to speedify.com and again, if you want to learn more, uh, look at the features here, a better internet awaits streaming mode, better speeds, security, reliability, and privacy. I do want to go over the plans with you as well, in case you are interested in the paid versions of this, you can click on store. And again, for free, no account, you get 10 gigabytes of optimized data per month. But if you do like this and we're all working from home now and maybe have a lot of kids at home doing schoolwork online, doing video conferencing, um, kids are gaming and Zooming, all kinds of stuff going on. So you may actually have a pretty congested network at home. So this may be a really good bet for you to increase your stability and also speeds on your home and um, cell phone internet being combined. So here are the individual plans. Uh, you can do up to a three-year plan, two-year plan, or one-year plan, or of course on a monthly basis as well for $9.99 build every month. There's family plans here too for again, three years, two years, one year, or a monthly family plan. And the family plan actually gives you um, accounts for four family members and for up to five devices per family member, which is really, really nice. There's also team-based plans, which are meant for, of course, businesses and that kind of thing. And you can look at the pricing here. So go to speedify.com and learn more by visiting the website. So there you have it. You can combine two internet connections to optimize and make your speeds faster and more reliable. What do you guys think? Test it out for yourselves. The app Speedify is available both in the App Store and Google Play, and also available for your computer at home, whether it's laptop or desktop, for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time.